Hey, what is up guys? BJ Dell back with another Procreate tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Procreate and it's an awesome app. It is fantastic, but I'm sure we can all agree there's one thing that stops it from being the perfect app and that's the lack of a text editor. So in today's video, we're going to talk about ways around that using other apps that are available for the iPad. Uh, first one up is Vintage Logo Creator. It's a $2.99 app in the App Store. Uh, offers in-app purchases. There's a pro uh, version, $4.99 a month or $29.99 a year. Unlocks absolutely everything it has to offer. Also gives you weekly updates. And then Typorama is the second one. It's a free app in the App Store. Uh, however, it does have a watermark, but has in-app purchases as well to remove that, give you extra styles and fonts and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's get into it. Roll the intro. All right, guys, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about using some other apps uh, as a way to leverage the fact that Procreate does not have a built-in text editor with it. Uh, so these three apps are ones that I use quite a bit in uh, addition to Procreate. We've got Graphic, which is basically a, a Adobe Illustrator uh, type of program. Uh, you can do vectors and stuff like that in it. It does have a text editor in it. It's not really all that robust so i don't use it a lot for text mainly the two that i use vintage logo and type of rama so let's go ahead and launch vintage logo first here um this is the the first screen you see once you launch a new canvas um this can actually do quite a bit of stuff uh today we're just going to go over the text portion of it though but uh if you do think the text or the uh, vintage logo as a app that you might use in the future and want to see me do a full-on tutorial on it uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments and let me know but like i said we're just going to go over text today so if we go down here to the text button at the bottom this is going to launch the text screen uh, you get your different fonts down here uh, now with vintage logo you do start out with a few you can upgrade uh, in the past it's been you had to buy different packs I know they just launched a new uh, monthly feature to where you can pay so much a month or so much a year and get everything unlocked in a pro version so if you're using it quite a bit you might want to check that out um, but let's just go ahead and click on the first one here and this is going to launch your keyboard so uh, let's just write in test for text and hit return and then add and that's going to launch the text you can scale the size by the pinching um, and then if you want to change the font now that you've got the text actually written all you have to do is just go in here and click the different fonts and it just changes the text for you there's little thumbnails down here that you kind of preview to see what it's going to do before you click on it um, some of them are obviously going to be all uppercase uh, some of them are going to maintain whatever uh, you had in the uh, the text box where you typed everything so uh, keep that in mind as you're going through and then of course down here uh, at the bottom you can actually change the colors of the text a lot of times I don't necessarily worry about that until I get over to Procreate because you can change the colors then in Procreate. So um, that's up to you if you want to change it here or, or not. A nice thing you can do here too is you can actually edit a lot of the, the different functions with the text. So we've got our text. Let's go ahead and hit the edit button. Um, this is something that some of the other apps don't do. It gives you a little bit more uh, control over what you're doing. You can actually add a curve in oops hit the wrong one here let's go back add a curve to the text and then the distance is actually basically like kerning that you can space them out so if you're doing a curve and that one kind of jumbled it up if you hit the distance and extend it out then you can get a little bit more and then you can adjust everything like that um, let's go ahead and reset the the curve here uh you can add an outline there's shadow there's overlay opacity flipping there's quite a bit of different things that you can do on here and then uh if you want to go ahead and add to it let's go ahead and do this curve here if you go back and then 
click on oops click on text again and then click another font just do another text sample and and this is going to give you a separate layer for this text so um of course with here if you need to add more you can you know just keep hitting return and it's going to give you the extra text but uh, if you do anything like doing the uh the curve or changing anything that's going to change everything so if you want to kind of create a design here with the the curve to it and then you want you know something straight across here and then possibly something underneath that then um you know in another curve that's how you would do that and it's going to save them as separate layers within the app as soon as you save it and upload it to uh procreate uh of course those layers are going to be gone it's just going to be one flat uh png or ping so let's just say that we're ready to use this this little uh up arrow here inside the box we'll click that and let you do the uh, export as PNG or ping or upload PSD to Creative Cloud. So since we're going to put this into Procreate, we're going to go ahead and export as PNG and gives you the different options down here of what size. I always just go ahead and upload it at the full size uh, so that the resolution uh, is, is good. It's not going to be perfect uh, with Procreate, but it's pretty close. Uh, so hit the up arrow again, and that's going to bring up the menu of where you can save to. Um, if you watched my previous video talking about Procreate, I said you always wanted to save as a file. Uh, with this program, you can actually just use the save image. This program does maintain that uh, transparent background. So let's go ahead and hit save image, save to your photo library successfully. So now if we go back and we go ahead and launch Procreate, uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new canvas here, which I've covered all this in the previous videos. So feel free to check that out if you've got any questions up to this point. Um, so now we've got the blank canvas. We want to go ahead and input our text into there. Uh, so if we hit the wrench icon, this brings up the actions menu. And this little down arrow, this gives you the image options. So what we're going to want to do is insert a photo since we saved it to our photo roll. So if we click that. That's going to bring up the areas that we have photos and this is the one we just created so of course you can resize here position it however you want and there you go uh one thing i will cover in another video is the selection tool and how to use selections inverse selections uh, i'm going to cover it real quick here just to show you uh, once you get this in if you hit this icon right here the s this is going to give you the ability to select and you see it's got the the dotted lines here it's basically like a lasso so what i'm going to do is just lasso this bottom section here and once you do that and you have your selection made go ahead and hit the arrow icon there and it's going to let you move that lassoed selection so this is nice if you're in uh, the the vintage logo designer. You're not going to know exactly where you want, uh, you know, the text on the finished canvas. So with this, it lets you just create that one file, but then move everything around. And if you use the select, of course, you see there, I got that test part, but you can just select everything separately. So that way you can move stuff around and, and make it the, the right size uh, without affecting everything. So that's it for the Vintage Logo Designer. Uh, next section, we're going to talk, talk about another app that I like to use. That one is called Typorama. So let's get into that next. Okay, so this one is Typorama. Let's go ahead and click on that. And I know a lot of people use the Over app. Uh, personally, I haven't got into that that much. Uh, Typorama is kind of the same thing. Um, Typorama, I believe, is free, but it does have the add-ons that you can do in-app purchases with to open up extra stuff. So be sure to uh, check that out and see if it's something that you, you know you're going to get into and want to use. So this is what it looks like when you first start it up. Uh, double tap to edit text always comes up. That's your starting point. So let's go ahead and hit that. And there's a few different things here uh, that you want to look at. Uh, it gives you the, the option to type in the text here. But you'll see manual line breaks is a option that you can toggle on and off. Uh, what that does, if you have it toggled on, like right now, um, test text on 
iPad with Procreate. So uh, you'll see here in a second, what this app does is it will actually do different designs on the fly for you um, and just create them. So with the manual line break on, it's going to save the uh, way that these are laid out. So test text will be on one line, on is going to be on a second line, iPad with is going to be on a third, and then Procreate is going to be on a separate line. Uh, if you don't have this on, uh, the app will just basically place these. It might say test text on in one line, on iPad with, and then Procreate on a third line. Um, it's important really to use this manual line breaks. The reason being is with T-shirt design, if you're using the iPad and Procreate for T-shirt design, you really want to look at your design and what the message is with what you're saying on this shirt. Um, some words are going to have more importance in the message and the design than others. If you don't have this manual line breaks on, um, then the program itself is going to decide which word it wants separated by itself. Um, sometimes it's depending on the layout of, of the design, it's going to make that word bigger. So, uh, an example with this, you know, possibly with might be on a separate line and it's going to make it bigger. Well, you know, on this, um, iPad is going to be an important word. Uh, procreate is going to be an important word. So with that, you don't want to have the wrong word drawing the, the eye to that certain word. So, um, always have that manual line breaks on so you can kind of control what your final design looks like. So we're going to go ahead and hit done. Now, this is where the beauty of this program kind of comes in. Um, these are all basically different fonts for lack of a better word uh across here some of them combine different fonts like you can see with this one um but the cool thing about this is the northern people font is selected here once you hit it again it's going to change the layout of that text so when you change to another one that's the first one and it just randomly does this uh, that's going to be about the same but it just randomly changes the look of what you typed in. So it's kind of cool to see and mess around with what the program can do. Um, you know, coming from a graphic design standpoint, I always like to have control, uh, you know, and I know what's gonna look the best, but some people starting out might not, and you might wanna circle and cycle through some of these to kind of to kind of get an idea. Hopefully you can trust your gut, kind of know what you've seen on t-shirts before what looks good and you know just kind of flip through until you find something that kind of stands out to you uh some of these like um like i said it's gonna make everything line up so with this the on with this font is not going to be the best because on is not the word that you want the eye drawn to uh so that's another thing here um if on is getting too big, then you could actually combine uh, those into one. And as you can see now, it actually looks a lot better because on is not so big. So just play around with it. It's something kind of cool to see, you know, what you can come up with. Uh, a lot of these are locked behind a paywall. Um, I went ahead and paid for pretty much the whole pack just because I think it's pretty cool to use and it saves time too if you find something um, just make sure that some of these it's it's going to come up with multiple fonts so, you know you've got three sometimes four five six depending on the number of lines uh, fonts per design it's not something you want it's not good design to have that many alternating fonts so uh, just because it's on the app doesn't necessarily mean you should use it uh, kind of look up some design uh, websites and some tutorials, which I'm going to be covering those in a later video too. Uh, but just kind of learn, you know, as far as uh, typography goes, what works, what doesn't, and learn the reason why, uh, you know, something works and something doesn't. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll just use this one. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK Share. And this is going to bring up the different options uh, for what we're doing today. You want to go ahead and hit Save. It's saved and it doesn't give you an option where to save it. It's just automatically going to go to your camera roll. So let's go ahead and go back again. Go back into Procreate. Once again, hit the wrench icon up here. The insert image with the down arrow and insert a photo. And text text on iPad with Procreate. So there we go. Like I said, um, you don't necessarily have to change the text color 
in the program. You can do it here in Procreate. Uh, this will be covered in another video too uh, on how to use it a little bit more effectively, but just real quick uh, with the text. Once you're on this layer, which is the test text uh, on iPad with Procreate, if you grab the color up here, drag it down, and just drop it in that black area, it's gonna fill in that little bit. If you slide it over the rest of the way without pulling up your pen, it's gonna fill that entire area. So that's a quick way to uh, change the text colors. Also, if you're wanting to go a little bit fancier and let's say, let's go back here. Um, oops. Let's say to make the design read well, uh, you wanna change just parts of the text color. Um, you can do that by dropping here and pulling back down to where it just fills up one and then you can just go down oops you can just go down the row and fill in just that second row of letters all right there we go so that kind of gives you a little bit more variation in the design um i find it's better to use differences and variations in color rather than relying on using the multiple fonts. Uh, if you change the uh, the colors of the text rather than, you know, changing a font every line, uh, it's going to be a little bit more readable. And it's going to be a little bit better as far as uh, the design goes. So, all right, that's pretty much it as far as these two apps. Um, like I said, if you want to see, you know, full on tutorials of these, please let me know in the comments. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's what we got today. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found some information you can use. If you did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And also in the comments, if there's another app that you already use for text uh, that's not one of the two mentioned in today's video, why don't you feel free, let me know, hit me up in the comments. Also, if there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, any tips, tricks, uh, if you guys want me to do a full-on tutorial for that uh, vintage logo creator, feel free to let me know there too. Uh, as far as me, I can be found online at BJ Dell on Twitter and Instagram or on my website, bjdell.com. So that's it for today. Until next time, keep creating.